Hi. In this short video, I'm going to show you how I use StreamSets Data Collector to read files from a local directory, uh, apply some processing to them, and write them into S3 so they could be read by a Spark streaming app running on Databricks. Uh, the app uh, runs a word count and writes its results to um, an other S3, a second S3 bucket where StreamSets will uh, run a second pipeline and read them into uh, read the results into Hadoop file system. So uh, let's take a look at the app I'm going to be running. So um, I'm going to mount my. Uh, I've got these two AWS buckets. So I've got this uh, input bucket uh, that should be empty, and I've got my output bucket uh, which is also empty. And I'm going to mount those into. Uh, Databricks into uh, the Databricks file system DBFS. Now, what this should do is um, give me two uh, directories that just look like local files, uh, local directories to my Spark streaming app. So I can run this command here, just check that they are showing up um, in DBFS. So there's mount input and mount output, they're there. And then I can start this Spark streaming app that's going to uh, read in data from uh, this input directory, mount input Shakespeare, and write, do the word count calculation and write the output to uh, mount output uh, counts. Now, it's important to start the app before we start, uh, we, before we move any data in, because it's, it's only going to process data that arrives after it actually starts. So uh, that should be starting up. And while that's starting, um, let's go look at how we get data into the uh, into the input into the into the S3 bucket. So what I'm going to be doing here is reading files from a local directory. So I'm going to have files in this uh, Spark streaming test input directory, and I'm reading them with this pipeline using the local directory origin, and I'm just reading them in as lines of text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove any punctuation from the text because otherwise um, punctuation gets counted by word count as as part of the adjacent word, and I don't I don't want that happening. And I'm going to remove any extraneous white space, and I'm also going to discard any empty lines, so any any lines where the text has uh, zero length. So um, uh, lines with uh, you know greater than zero length go to S3. Anything else goes to the trash. Uh, so my word count app will run. Let me just start this pipeline. So that's scanning the input directory. Um, my word count app will run, and then what should happen is that it puts its results in uh, an output uh, bucket. Uh, in the counts uh, directory, and I'm going to write that to Hadoop file system. So uh, let's just run uh, the uh, the output pipeline as well. So um, let's go have a look at the command line. So right now I should have uh, nothing in the um, input directory, and similarly um, uh, nothing in the uh, in a Hadoop file system under this SDC counts area. So basically, my two pipelines are running. They're ready to process. My Spark app's running. So all I need to do is copy some data into the input directory. So let's copy Shakespeare's comedies. So going over here, what I should see if I go to my input pipeline is it's processing. It just processed uh, 59,000 lines wrote those into S3, so I can uh, follow that along here. So there they are in the Shakespeare directory, um, six files. 10, I've configured it for about 10,000 uh, lines per file. So we should have uh, some results showing up by now. Yes, we have results in the counts directory. So there's Spark's results. And uh, the... Um, this pipeline's reading whole files, so it's just grabbing those whole files from S3. I don't need to do any processing on them. I just want them to, to write them to Hadoop file system. And that should have happened. If I uh, look at the, um, let's do an ls on the uh, SDC counts directory. 
uh, da -da -da. what we should see is uh, some data there. So uh, if we can do the uh, the du command, will tell us uh, just how much data there is. Uh, let's have a look. 261k of um, word count data, and we can just send another uh, batch of text through. So we sent the comedies. Let's send Shakespeare's histories into input, and again we can follow uh, follow it round the path. So we drop them into our local kind of spool directory, go to the input pipeline. Um, that's going to pick up those records. So you can see there the number's gone up, 105,000 uh, lines now. They appear in um, the uh, Shakespeare bucket here. If we just, uh, Shakespeare directory, there's the extra files. And again, this is just constantly running quietly, uh, but it should be writing uh, more data here. So if we refresh, there's more data appearing in the output side. And again, over here, we should see uh, this is now up to 24 files. And the easiest way is just to look at uh, what that um, the disk usage has gone up to in, uh, in SDC counts. And let's have a look. 555K, so that's the history is all um, processed. And you could just leave this uh, pipeline running indefinitely. As files appear in that uh, the input spooling directory, they are going to get uh, picked up by the first pipeline. Let's do the poems. Um, they're going to be uh, pushed into S3, processed by that uh, Spark streaming app, and then as the output appears in S3, that second pipeline is going to retrieve them and put them in HDFS. And in the time it took me to say that, um, we should have more output data there. There, another uh, uh, 90K or so of data has gone into the uh, HDFS. So um, there we have it. Uh, pipeline feeding S3, uh, Spark streaming app on Databricks Cloud, uh, reading that in uh, from a mounted uh, S3 bucket, writing its um, output to uh, S3, and then being re read from S3 and written to Hadoop file system by another StreamSets data collector pipeline. Thanks for watching.